right, uh, this is my early 2011 MacBook Pro 15 inch, um, and today I'm going to replace the fans in it. To give you an idea of why, I'm going to zoom in real close, see if I can capture the sound. I don't know how well you can hear that, but there's kind of a, a little knocking hum. And it gets worse when the computer's under load, like if I'm rendering video or something like that. I've tried cleaning the fans. Uh, I even took them apart and uh, lubricated the, I guess you'd call it the spindle on the fan, and it, it just didn't seem to help. So I found replacement fans on eBay. Um, I'll list the part numbers that you need to look for for this particular model. So to get started, I'm first gonna shut it down and then we'll take it apart. All right, so for step one, simple, we're just gonna shut down. Okay, it's shut down. Now we're going to flip it over take it apart. Okay, so there's going to be a couple tools that you're going to need. Uh, the first is a small Phillips screwdriver and also a plastic spudger. You can get both of these from MacSales.com. Okay, with all of the screws removed, Carefully lift up on the rear, and there you go. Laptop is open. Uh, the fans that we're going to be replacing are right here. Uh, you'll notice I've upgraded the hard drive in here instead of the standard 5400 RPM 500 gig drive that came with it. I've got a 256 gig Samsung SSD, which has been really great, but I think I'm actually going to upgrade that to something bigger. And I swapped out the DVD drive for um, another, a, a second hard drive. It's a one terabyte 7200 RPM drive. Um, I got this whole setup from maxels.com. I'll, I'll provide a link in the description. Um, so the next step is going to be to unplug the battery. With the fans, you'll notice they're, they're slightly different in the layout of their screws. And that's important when you go to order a replacement if only the left fan is making noise, then you want to make sure you order the left. If only the right, then just get the right. Um, I think it's just the left on mine. I'm not positive, but just to be safe, I'm just replacing both of them. All right, so now that we've got our power disconnected, right here, there's these little power cables for the fans. I'm just going to gently use the spudger on those as well. And to actually remove the fans, there's one other tool you're going to need that I didn't mention, and that's a Torx screwdriver also available from MaxSales.com. In fact, all of these came together in the kit that I got when I bought this data doubler. I don't remember the size of this, but I'll, I'll put that in the description. Okay. And just carefully lift up. There goes the right fan. the left. Just going to kind of gently wipe that out. This would also be a good time to just with some compressed air to kind of spray this out. Um, I did that just a couple days ago when I tried oiling the fan so I'm not going to worry about that this time. So here's the first one. This is the left fan and I believe that's the part number right there A1286. And there are third-party fans that you can get, but I've read some pretty bad reviews on those. So the brand you want to look for is Sunon. This is the OEM brand, if you look at the old ones. So I'm going to go ahead and put this one in first. And you put this end in first to kind of go over these fins. And then just gently drop it in. Make sure the power cable is laid out right. And then we're just going to go ahead and replace the screws that we just took out. Now we'll do the right fan. And this one is actually a used fan. The other one was brand new. I just got mine on eBay. Um, there are actually a lot of places you can get these. But eBay was the cheapest. It's actually quite a bit cheaper. Getting brand new fans can be upwards of $40 each, depending on the supplier. 
Okay, we've got the replacement fans in. So now we'll just connect the power connectors. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to see this, but if you look at the front of the connector, there's a couple very small um, cuts or, or holes in there. Those need to face down. Just like that. All right, so both fans are reinstalled. We've got all the screws in. Time to reconnect the battery. Just drag the connector right over the slot that it goes into. Just gently push down. You'll hear just kind of a little bit of a click as that goes in. With that done, now we're ready to put the case bottom back on, screw that in, and boot it back up. And the lid should just drop on. The order of the screws doesn't really matter, but I like to start with these longer screws at the bottom. Okay, flip her back over, and let's power it on and see how we did. Okay, so booted back up, and it looks like unplugging the battery did reset a couple things, so I need to fix that. Okay, time is set. Um, I'm going to turn up the gain on the mic and, and let's see if we can hear any of that noise. So far I can't. Okay, I've got the gain on my uh, audio recorder turned all the way up, zoomed right in where the fan noise generally comes from. Sounds like we're back to normal. So there you go. That's how you do it.